Taurus, welcome to your weekend love reading. So this is going to be a love reading. It's going to be timeless whenever you feel drawn to the title and to the picture. That's when it's meant for you. I currently just posted the May readings. Um, I do also have up the Mercury and retrograde readings that we're currently in until the 14th. So that is also on my channel as well as the solar, the total solar eclipse energy that we just went through on the 20th of April. Within your energy um, during your birthday season, we're going to have a lunar eclipse and a full moon happening from the 5th to the 6th. So I'm going to do separate readings for that. But we're going to check out, see what needs to come towards you for love. Always take what resonates and then you know to always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. All right. You're going to be seeing this on the 29th and the 30th. So we still have a couple days to get in those flower emojis. For those of you that are interested in the three free readings that I'm giving away this month. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. I do these monthly giveaways. And each and every month um, it will be more than one reading. Um, sometimes even monetary gift cards I give away. It's just my way of giving back for my journey here. But go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, you have a couple days to get in um, the flower emojis. Leave a flower emoji in the comment section letting me know that you're interested um, in the free reading. And do that on each reading that you view of mine during the month of April. As we're coming to an end, which will be this weekend, I'm going to choose three random people. And... Um, I'll be needing you to check your notifications this weekend to see if you're one of the people that I've reached out to, okay? And then we'll take it from there. May will be a brand new begin, a uh, brand new giveaway, and I will announce that shortly after I hear from the three people that win the, the love readings. All right. For my Tauruses, for love, past energy that my Tauruses have been in when it comes to love. settling. So for some of you, you may have thought that you were never going to find, um, never going to find or be able to have the person that you really want. You could have been dealing with someone that had insecurities or had confidence issues that might even be within yourself. Having a lack of faith that things were going to turn out for you. All right, Spirit, what is the present energy for Taurus? Look, summer. It's time to see things on a sunnier side. Your answers arrive in the summer. So for some of you, you are going to be coming into a contact with someone, a relationship, a connection. And what does the future energy look like? for Taurus. Look at this. Fertility. Look at how blossoming that plant is. I'm going to say it's a lemon plant, but it's you planting the seeds along your journey, and this is growth in what you're manifesting. There is an offer coming your way very shortly. All right. Well, from the time that you see this very shortly. All right, Spirit, please clarify settling for the past energy for Taurus. Settling. All right, we got two. See, it's like you're looking for your wish fulfillment. You're looking for what you truly desire, what you truly want in a partner. For some of you, you could be just with someone for the sake of being with them, for the sake of the connection, the companionship, but really feeling like it's not your wish come true. It's it's like you want to rub that lamp and you want to you want that wish to come true. Who are you wishing for? Your ancestor guides are sending you the person that you're meant to be with. Your ancestors are with you along this way. 
All right. Please clarify the summer. What is coming towards Taurus for the summer? Look at this. Message in a bottle. There are messages coming towards you. You could possibly be traveling and meeting someone. <clears throat> there could be a distance between you and someone. And you're finally meeting and connecting and having the, the, the communication. And please clarify fertility for the future. Yeah, look, peace, harmony, stability. It's like this connection you're coming into, it's going to feel too good to be true. Like, do you feel that great within this connection? Could life be that harmonious, having this, this particular person in your life? And it can be. It 100% can be. My relationships were shit until I met the person I am with now. But there was also growth that needed to happen within me for me to meet that person. All right, spirit. Taurus's past energy. The Eight of Wands. Could have been dealing with a fire sign. But I feel like this is also the energy of you progressing forward. Not settling anymore. Realizing what you deserve and moving forward. Realizing that because of your manifesting, you are actually rubbing that lamp and you are going to get your wish fulfillment. All right, Spirit, what is the present energy for summer for Taurus and love? Why is summer here? Yeah, there's going to be movement. Like I said, there really could be some traveling, some vacation that you're on. You could be at a distance from this person. But there is moving towards peace and harmony. And it will be this connection coming in. And the future. Fertility. Stability. Making that plan to move forward with your heart completely open. Now we have the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. So you could have water or fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Take it how it resonates. But I feel for some of you, either a five fire sign is going to be the person that you come in contact with or a water sign. They may have water and fire in their chart. Stick around to the end because I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles. Twin flame connection. I'm definitely picking up on a lot of fire energy here. Mirrored souls. One soul that ignites the passion inside you. The other half of you. Two people on the same journey in a lifetime. It's very rare that you meet in one, like in the, the first meeting and stay together. Sometimes it's very triggering for the two of you. And then you move on to grow um, and become stronger as an individual. And so does your person, hopefully. With that being said, if both of you are triggered to grow, coming together in a stronger energy. If one grows and the other one doesn't, you're not, not each lifetime are you supposed to be with your twin flame. Are you meant to be with your twin flame? So do keep that in mind. But I definitely feel you're moving towards wish fulfillment, um, moving past the settling days. Yeah, you have found strength within heartbreak to move forward. The message coming towards you very shortly within this summer is going to be divinely guided. It's a fated partner on your journey. I do feel that there is some distance for some of you. There is going to be some traveling involved, like I said. For those of you that already know this person, I do feel the distance that you're keeping between one another. You're finally going to come together, have the conversation, and work it out. Start a brand new chapter in your lives and be willing to put the fight in. 
But for those of you that it's a brand new connection, it is going to be a soul tie, a soulmate connection. And it's a brand new chapter in your life. You both are going to be completely open to this and it's going to bring such harmony to you. you. For some of you, you could be meeting this person online or there might be somebody that has a crush online with like sees you within social media or whatever. You could be using dating apps. But this also could be the communication coming in um, via like direct message or, you know, even an email for those of you that it's someone you already know. All right. For those of you that it's somebody you already know, I'm going to get a message from them to you, Taurus. Okay, let's see. We have. I am ready to take a leap of faith with you. Will you risk it with me? This might even be a brand new connection. This person coming into, um, into view, into your journey, and they're ready for a relationship. They're ready for the commitment. Our best times are together. I love every minute with you. And for those of you that are at a distance from someone and wishing and hoping, manifesting that they return, I can see us getting together again one day. All right. Let's pull Scrabble tiles, guys. We have G, H, D, I, O, E, N for now, S, A, and the rest are repeats. All right, Taurus, always let me know how it resonates. <clears throat> I will be back for many more readings. I hope you're all having an amazing birthday season. I wish each and every one of you a happy birthday again. I love each and every one of you. Um, leave that flower emoji still within these next two days, letting me know that you're interested in the free re love readings. And do pay attention to your notifications during this time because I will be reaching out to three people. And then for the free, free love readings, then we will start a brand new reading for the month of May. I mean, the brand new giveaway. All right. Have an amazing weekend.